The man convicted of killing a Minneapolis police officer nearly four decades ago will be moved to work release next week. Officer Richard Miller was shot in the line of duty in August of 1981 while working in North Minneapolis. 37 years into Isaac Brown's life sentence, he will transition into a halfway house. As WCCO's Jennifer Merrily reports, the officer's widow wants people to remember her husband as the date nears. Every morning, Lee Miller puts on a necklace adorned with her husband's badge number. He was proud of who he was, and we were proud of him. Officer Richard Dick Miller was killed in the line of duty. The married father of two was 59 and mere months from retirement. A judge sentenced his killer, Isaac Brown, to life. Life? I would thought he would be in prison till he died. But, but about five years ago, they started telling me that maybe he wouldn't be there that long. So they were preparing me for this. Brown became eligible for parole in 1998. During his sixth review hearing, an advisory panel decided to transition Brown to a halfway house to provide him with, quote, an opportunity to experience life, focusing on employment, and learning a positive day-to-day -day routine for success in the community. I guess in, if I were really a good person, I'd say that I'm happy for him. But I guess I'm not that good of a person because <laughs> I think he should stay where he is forever. When that day comes, Lee hopes people will think of her husband. I want her to think about Dick. I want, and, I, and I want him to think of my grandchildren who never got a chance to know him and my great-grandchildren. The law changed soon after Miller's death. Now anyone convicted of first-degree murder in the death of a peace officer, prosecuting attorney, judge, or guard is sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. Brown will transition to a halfway house on Tuesday, one day before Lee turns 90. Oh, thank you, Jennifer.